Daryl, my Pema Chodron card's been calling me recently, and one of the reasons why I love them so much is because they're not oracle cards. She calls them compassion cards, and they're the work. And the card that came up today is don't act with a twist. And I love this so much because we don't realize how often in our lives we have ulterior motives or don't feel like we can live honestly, end up lying. And like A Course in Miracles says, there is no big or small upset. It either takes away from our state of peace or it doesn't. And the same goes with honesty. Like it's either honest or it isn't. And that if it's not, it's taking away from our, our unshakable peace. It's taking away from our state of inner peace that we are building to build up that un unshakable peace that allows us to be healthy and therefore happy. So there's three things, technically four. First, I'll start with the mantra. When I started living by the mantra, if I don't have anything honest to say, then don't say anything at all. It radically changed my life for the better. And that's because I started living by three little things. One, if I felt like I was gonna lie, I just don't say anything at all. If I felt like I could not be honest in the moment, I just wouldn't say anything at all. And trust me, that's better than lying and it's not lying by omission because lying by omission is telling part of the truth and leaving out a little bit of the truth. That's lying by omission because you're omitting something within the truth so that it becomes a lie. Even though you told most of the truth, you omitted an important detail. <laughs> You left out an important detail, which makes it become a lie. Not saying anything at all is okay because there are some times where we don't know how to say the truth in the moment. We don't know what the truth is in the moment. Sometimes things are just supposed to play out on their own without what we have to say. We're not, this isn't about just saying anything and everything we think all the time. You know, you can live from a place of honesty without saying anything everything and anything you think all the time. This is about learning to live with honesty and from the truth. And sometimes we have to be quiet to figure out what the truth is. Sometimes we have to ask questions and that's number two, asking questions. Sometimes if you don't feel like you can be honest because you don't know what the truth is, then being curious and asking questions will help you get to the truth because there is a difference between living honestly and living from the truth. And so that's why they're combined in this because you can live honestly and from the truth and that allows room to make mistakes while being honest at the time, even if it might have not been the truth at the time, that's fine. We might find out later, that's okay because at least in the moment we were living honestly and from the truth to the best of our ability, which leads me to my third one and last, but definitely not least, which is just be freaking honest in the moment. Just say it. You've always wanted to say it, just say it. Because we end up lying and living with ulterior motives because we think that being honest in the moment will cause more pain than just living with the lie even if the lie is a little bit of it, or if the lie is omitting a little bit of it, we think that will cause us less pain, but it doesn't. It might keep us from feeling a certain amount of discomfort in the initial moment, but then we create all this discomfort in the meantime <laughs> that we're going to experience out into the future. And trust me, it is far, far, far better. You will be healthier and therefore happier just by living honestly in the moment by doing one of these th three things. Speaking honestly, asking questions, or not saying anything at all. If you do one of those three things, instead of lying in some way, shape or form, living with ulterior motives and lying by omission, these are all in there, which is why she talks about ulterior motives on the back of the card, which is why it's don't act with a twist. 
because even that ulterior motive of like, I'm trying to do something good, but I don't feel like I can be completely honest about why I'm doing this thing because of this or that. If you don't feel like you can be completely honest, then you need to ask more questions. Don't say anything at all, or just say it and see what happens. So yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And trust me, this is coming from someone who used to live the life of a freaking sociopath. And the entire time I was doing it, I knew that there was a better way and that being honest was, was better. But I had to learn that for myself. There was a time in my life ages ago where my whole life was like one big lie. And so I've lived on all ends of this extreme from, you know, being a massive liar to being kind of a liar to being radically honest and everywhere in between. I lived it all. So I can honestly tell you <laughs> that living from this place of radical honesty is quite literally the best, most alleviating, happiest, healthiest place to live from. Yeah. So sending you all the love in the world, all the love in the world, because I have access to all the love in the world, because we are all the creator, source, God, spirit, cosmic consciousness. We all have access to all that we need and all that we want. So may the energies you serve, serve you well, and let's keep making our way through. I can, so you can too.